Sometimes it is necessary to include a single or multiple device positions into a quick tool. This video will guide you through the steps to achieve this. First of all, let's switch to template mode. Then, we need to add the steps to measure the reference features that we will use to calculate the move device position. In this case, I will use three points. Now, we need to create the device positions that we need. From the Devices tab, select Manage Devices. Now select the serial number of the device, and choose New Position. From the Features panel, highlight the points, and click Add Features, then Solve, and Close. This has now created Device Position 2. If you require additional device positions, repeat these steps. We're now ready to record the Quick Tool. In the Quick Tool panel, select New Program. Then press Record. First select the set active device position from the toolbar, and then in the properties, choose device position 1. Highlight the points in the feature panel, right click, and select add readings. This adds the device position points to the quick tool. Now, add the remaining commands that are needed, prior to the device move. Use the at comment command in the quick tool to notify the user when the device move is needed. Here we can also add an image to indicate where to position the device next. Again, select the set device position from the toolbar and in the properties choose device position 2. Highlight the points in the Feature panel, right-click, and select Add Readings. This adds the points to the Quick Tool, which will be used to calculate Device Position 2. Now we need to add a Solve Device Position step from the toolbar. Ensure that Device Position 2 and Solve is selected. If more device positions are needed, follow the same steps. Now you can add the additional commands to the Quick Tool. Once all the commands have been added, press stop. We will now run the quick tool. The comment tells us when to move the device. Click OK to continue. In this example, we will move the part to represent a device move. As you re-measure the move device points, the new position is automatically calculated and set as active. The user can now continue to measure the required features. To confirm the device position error, from the Device tab, select Manage Devices. Then, select Device Position 2, and the max error is shown on the right hand side. That concludes this information video. Thanks for watching.